حبيبي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام ورحمة الله My name is Tamer I work in uh, sales and marketing I would like to know um, there's a group of brothers basically they live quite far away from a mosque more than one hour and a half about five of them they want to know what's the ruling for uh, Salat al-Jum'ah should they, should they go to the mosque if it's uh, they actually they live outside of a Muslim country so they're in work on this time and they're far away from the mosque so they want to know should they go or should they pray in the office? Okay, let me just get you right. They live in a non-Muslim country, correct? Yes. They live one and a half hours away from the nearest masjid. Yeah, they, they work that far away. Yes. They work that. So the time of Jum'ah, they are unable to come to the masjid. And how many of them are there in number? They said five and above. And would they be able to gather, uh, the, the, you know, a few more people who might be living around somewhere? Because I tell you what, it's if I were to just say, okay, do your Jumu'ah, uh, we may be defeating the purpose of the entire Jumu'ah. Although some scholars might allow it. I know Abu Hanifa, rahmatullahi alayhi, three and above, he's allowed. Uh, Imam Shafi is a little bit stricter in that. And these are rules of jurisprudence. But we need to look into the situation to make sure we maximize and we benefit. Perhaps if, and maybe perhaps if, we would be able to try and see uh, the, the, some, a few other Muslims, and it's not so difficult nowadays with the internet, you know, to try and uh, motivate and encourage people, look, if there are any Muslims here, we're planning on having a Jumu'ah uh, here so that we, we can save our time going back and come. Sometimes they cannot. So in that particular case, inshallah, if they started with the intention of gathering a few more people, bismillah, let them go for it and they will be able to read the Jumu'ah. But if they're just doing it in order to break away from the masjid and in order to, to have their own little thing and making no effort to gather, the rest of the Muslimin, then jama'a means to gather. You know, we're bringing the people together. So inshallah, if they would like to gather, alhamdulillah, let's go for it. And inshallah, you can send me an email. Perhaps I can even assist in that regard. Inshallah. Barakallah